let us see two more uh, old IAS questions, civil services questions. In this question, a transformer is designed for operation on 60 head supply, it is worked on 50 head supply system without changing its voltage and current ratings, without changing its voltage and current ratings, when compared with full load efficiency at 60 H, the transformer efficiency on full load at 50 H will be, okay. So, basically in transformer, there are three types of losses, okay, hysteria loss will be there, eddy current losses will be there and also copper losses will be there, okay. So, the one they said, like you know, same current ratings, copper losses will be same because current is same. And also, now if you see, like you know, voltage ratings, okay, so he uh, means my eddy current losses is independent of frequency will be decided by only voltage. So the moment its voltage ratings are same, okay, voltage ratings are same in the sense eddy current losses also will be same. Now, only deciding factor is going to be hysteresis loss, okay. What is hysteresis loss? Hysteresis loss directly proportional to B max to the power of X into F okay are directly proportional v to the power of 1.6 f to the power of minus 0.6 in between these two equations which equation has to be used this is no because if b max is maintained constant hysteresis loss is directly proportional to frequency but here voltages are maintained constant so voltages are maintained constant in the sense hysteresis loss is directly proportional to f to the power of minus 0.6 okay so what is happening here 60 hedge uh, designed system is being operated at 50 hedge okay means that frequency is reduced if frequency is reduced hysteresis losses has to increase okay by this relation hysteresis losses are going to increase so hysteresis losses increase eddy current losses will be same okay and then copper loss also will be same so total losses is going to increase so efficiency is going to reduce in this options decrease marginally is right answer efficiency has to reduce now let us see let us see one more uh, civil services question IAS question actually I love this question a lot basically because like you know in bark interview BRC interview multiple times they will ask the same question okay in this question of course they will extend the question okay in this question means at starting complete transformer will be there at starting, a complete transformer will be there with complete core, complete core. After that, after that, the question will be asked in this way. After that, if I fill, if I remove some part of magnetic material, if I fill that with non-magnetic material, what are the repercussions they will ask? Okay. Actually, there are many steps here. Now, first thing is like, you know, black is going to be with complete uh, magnetic material and red is going to be with replacement of part of the magnetic material with non-magnetic material. Now, here source voltage is constant, of course, RMS value because it is AC. So, the moment this is uh, constant, this also should be constant, okay. Now, even is constant in the sense operating flux will be constant okay so if operating flux is constant no load current may vary no load current may vary but because v1 is infinite source ideal voltage source means that e1 also should not be changed it means that rms value of operating flux should not be changed from black to red okay now let us see let us think of reluctance value for example if i have when i have complete magnetic material complete magnetic metal which is uh, blue sorry black Okay, so complete magnetic material reluctance to the core and this is going to be MMF required to set up the flux of pi. Okay, now with red if you see, if you uh, what do you say, replace some part of the magnetic material with non-magnetic material means that what about the reluctance here, non-magnetic material in the sense relative permeability is going to be unity. Okay, so what is reluctance formula, reluctance equal to 1 by mu naught mu r lc by ac okay so mu naught is anyway constant forget about this for example in non-magnetic material non-magnetic metal relative permeability is going to be unity in magnetic metal relative permeability can be 10,000 15,000 18,500 like that so the moment it's non-magnetic metal relative permeability is unity reluctance of non-magnetic metal will be more so my reluctance of non-magnetic material will be aided for it 
okay so what is the total reluctance now because of the placement of non-magnetic material total reluctance will be increased okay now total reluctance is increased operating flux should be same operating flux should be same so flux should be same reluctance is increased so mmf is going to be ni number of turns he did not say anything so my no load current has to be increased okay no load current has to be increased so means first thing is total reluctance net reluctance has to increase okay and uh, second thing is my no load current will increase in order to set up the same flux now let us think of hysteresis loss they will ask actually they will not stop here they will continuously ask till you draw the phasor diagram okay now if i think of like you know hysteresis losses hysteresis losses will they increase or decrease actually they will decrease because hysteresis losses will be there in magnetic material only but hysteresis losses will not be there in non-magnetic material okay so the moment like you know at starting completely magnetic material completely magnetic material so in this part also in the first se first section hysteresis losses will be there but now if i replace some part of the magnetic material with non-magnetic metal in non-magnetic material section there will be no hysteresis loss so means hysteresis loss has to reduce this is going to be third point now let us think of a current loss now eddy current loss will the increase or reduce we cannot say anything because he said that it's non-magnetic material okay so it's non-magnetic material non-magnetic material okay the moment it's non-magnetic material it can be electrical conductor or electrical insulator basically eddy current losses will happen in electrical conductor not in electrical insulator okay means let me tell you if it is a magnetic material all magnetic materials are electrical conductors in this in magnetic material ferromagnetic material ferrous iron is electrical conductor so all magnetic metals are electrical conductors so the the magnetic material magnetic property will be there means that history will be there okay and magnetic material by default it's an electrical conductor so eddy current loss will be there so in magnetic metal hysteresis loss and eddy current loss combinedly happen but if you think of non-magnetic material non-magnetic metal for example wood or maybe air okay so these are non-magnetic electrical insulator the moment it's non-magnetic hysteresis loss will not be there the moment it's electrical insulator a d current loss also will not be there now if i fill this with copper okay copper is also non-magnetic material but electrical conductor so if i fill this with uh, what do you say non-magnetic electrical conductor which is copper the moment it's electrical conductor eddy current losses will be there so means here in this eddy current losses there are two sections okay now in this uh, second case like you know it can be electrical conductor electrical conductor or it can be filled with electrical insulator okay if it is electrical conductor eddy current losses will be non zero if it is electrical insulator eddy current losses will be zero okay frankly speaking the moment you ask this question they will be happy enter you guys will be happy okay now anyway like you know the moment if it is electrical conductor if it is electrical conductor net eddy current losses will they increase or decrease we cannot say anything because I mean that all depends upon the resistivity of uh, iron and resistivity of this filled electrical conductor and depending upon the thickness of laminations there are many other factors so means electrical conductor they cannot ask you in interview so they will finalize okay if it is electrical insulator let us discuss okay then the moment it's electrical insulator net eddy current loss net eddy current loss has to reduce okay now they will ask you to draw the phasor diagram now let us try to draw the phasor diagram operating flux okay so it's operating flux minus c1 r plus c1 anything is okay for us okay now here my no load current at starting is this with black okay which is having magnetizing component i mu which is having total loss component iw okay now if i see like you know 
here if it is electrical insulator only for electrical insulator case only i'm trying to draw the phasor diagram if it is electrical insulator that the current the current losses net will be reduced and also hysteresis losses by default they have to reduce so total core loss has to reduce so loss component has to reduce last component has to reduce now last component has to reduce but net no load current has to increase net no load current has to increase means that magnetizing component of no load current has to increase so my net is going to be so this is going to be i mu okay so iw is going to be reduced new iw is going to be reduced and the new i mu is going to be increased such that net value of no load current has to increase this is actually very beautiful question